Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And we have our second example for the hyperbola. So, y squared over 16 minus x squared over 20 is equal to 1. We're going to find the center, the foci, the vertices, equation of asymptotes, and the graph. So first, study the given. So the given equation is y squared over 16 minus x squared over 20 is equal to 1. So obviously, that is in the... So our center is 0, 0. And our equation in a standard form is just like this one. So we're going to follow this step in our table. Okay. Now let us find the A, B, and C. For our A, so A squared is equal to, this is our A, so that is 16. So get the square root. So our A is positive 4. And for our B, B squared is equal to 20. So extract the square root. B is equal to square root of 20. Now, 20 is not a perfect square number. So B is equal to, get the factors of 20, that is 4 times 5. So the, the one factor or the other factor must be a perfect square, which is 4, is a perfect square. So b is equal to 2 square root of 5. Okay, this must be positive negative 2 square root of 5, but since um, we are looking for the distance, so we're just going to get the positive 2. And for our c, C is equal to square root of 16 plus 20 square root of 36. 20 plus 16 is 36, so C is square root of 36 is 6. Okay. okay. So A, B, and C. So you will notice that so, 2 is square root of 5, that is in radical form. So, get the decimal equivalent of that, that is approximately equivalent to 4.47, or near, uh, near to 4.5. Just press in your calculator. Now, after getting the values for A, B, and C, we can now get the center, foci, vertices, and the equation of the asymptote. For our center, Mathematically, that is 0, 0. And for our F sub 1, it's here, so 0. Then negative C, our C is 6. For our F sub 2, 0. Then positive C, positive 6. Next, for the V1 or V sub 1, so we have 0, then negative 8, our A is negative, negative 4, then V sub 2, 0, then positive A, so positive 4. Okay. Next, equation of the asymptote. So y is equal to, our equation is a over b. So we have a, 4 over our b, 2 square root of 5, then x. And for our graph, let us first locate the center. And the foci, 0, negative 6, 0, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So this will be our f sub 1. Then the second focus is 0, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Positive 6. This will be the second focus. And for the vertices, 0, negative 4. 0, negative 4. And for the second ver vertex is 0, positive 4. So second vertex and the first vertex. 4 and negative 4. Okay. Okay. We're now ready to draw our rectangle. So for our rectangle, A units away from C. A units. A units. So A is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4. So this is our first line for the side of the rectangle. And okay, the second line. Now for the remaining sides of the rectangle, so B units. So that is 4.5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 4 and 5. So between them, 4.47 between 4 and 5. Okay. Between 4 and 5. And of course, on the left side, between negative 4 and negative 5. So. Okay. Now, connect for the graph or for our line, the equation of the asymptote and the other one. Okay. So this is the center. Then this is the this will be the positive negative. So y is equal to 4 over 2 square root of 5x. And the other one, y is equal to negative 4 over 2 square root of 5x. Square root of 5x. Okay. And for our graph, so this will be our graph. And the other one. Passes with the graph. That's it. That will be our graph. Okay, let's go back in the equation of the asymptote. In your previous grade, when you were in grade 9, uh, our restriction for the radical sign is there must be no radical sign in our denominator. So we need to conjugate. So we can write our equation of the asymptote. So if we have 4 square root over 2 square root of 5. We need to conjugate. We need to multiply that into 2 square root of 5 over 2 square root of 5. So this will become 4 times 2, 8 square root of 5, all over 2 times 2, 4 times square root of 5 times 5, 25. Now we have 8 square root of 5 over square root of 25, so 5 times 4, 20. Now reduce it to lowest term. So this will become, or this is divisible by 4. So 4, 8, so 2 square root of 5 over 4, 8, 12, 10, 25. So the simplest form of our equation of the asymptote is, okay, let us rewrite, positive negative 2 square root of 5 over 5x. And this must be the positive 2 over uh, 2 square root of 5 over 5x and the negative 
negative 2 squared of 5 over 5x. Okay. Kindly recall your lesson simplifying radicals. You will be needing that in simplifying your final answer. So this is our second example for the hyperbola. See you in our third example.